Grow NYC is teaming up with Love Tito's for a week-long series of exciting garden-focused projects. The two are taking on a garden service project in Brooklyn, as well as distributing hundreds of fresh food items box, and they'll go across the borough. Joining us today is Lindsay Bates, a program manager for Love Tito's. Lindsay, thanks for being with us today. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to talk about all this great work we're doing with Grow NYC over this week. Cool. So Thursday at the Madison Hill Community Garden in Brooklyn. Uh, tell us how it works. How does it uh, benefit the community? Yeah, absolutely. So the Madison Hill Community Garden has actually been around for a couple of decades. Um, it's a great space to serve the community members. It has raised beds where they can grow vegetables as well as herbs and also community gathering places for the neighbors to come together. Um, it's had a lot of use over the past year and a half. So it was in kind of need of some revitalization, sure. rebuilding of some beds, planting things for the upcoming growing season. So we were really lucky to have a team of Team Tito's volunteers out there on Thursday, getting their hands dirty and giving back. And also because of the pandemic, right? So this is like, we got to get this going again. Um, you know, a lot of people were not able to uh, take part in this before because of the pandemic. Yeah, so Grow NYC actually works with a number of community gardens all around the city. Um, and, you know, they've seen some with increased use during the pandemic as a way for people to get out safely and grow fresh fruit and fresh vegetables. Um, and so some, because they've had so much use, just really needed some revitalization, like the Madison Hill Community Garden. So people apply, community <clears throat> members, and, and how do they do that? So if you go to grownyc.org, um, they have all the information on the community gardens, both Madison Hill Community Garden and all of the ones they have throughout the city and how different people can get involved with one close to them. Okay, now let's go to the fresh uh, food box distribution effort because that's a really big deal as well. Uh, that's tomorrow. And how does that take place? It's Saturday the 9th. What recipes yeah. will uh, people get a chance to uh, enjoy? So we're really excited about this one. In addition to community gardens, Grow NYC does a lot of work with increasing food access to community members all throughout the city. And um, one of the ways they do that is through their fresh food box program, where typically community members will come and pay a week in advance for a box of seasonal produce that's grown by local farmers and growers throughout New York. And mm -hmm. so it's a really great way to support, you know, local community growers as well as get access to, to fresh and healthy food. And um, this Saturday, we're actually sponsoring 300 of those boxes. So they'll be free of cost. So they're going to be distributed to different organizations um, in the area, as well as to some usual community members who pay for the Fresh Food Box program. Mm -hmm. And we're really excited because this time we're adding in some special recipes that were developed by Chef David Stample, who mm -hmm. is a pro NYC volunteer, as well as a culinary philanthropist. And he worked really hard to create recipes that highlight different produce that will be in the boxes, as well as seasonal produce that, you know, New Yorkers can get all around the city right now. Let's talk about his recipes, what will be included. Yeah, so he has a recipe for tangy Brussels sprouts, which looks absolutely delicious. <laughs> um, he also has a roasted potato salad. And then for those who are 21 and up, he also came up with a great beet and punch, Tito's punch. That's a nice little cocktail um, to enjoy as well. So uh, he's also, as something he has done uh, for years and years, been involved with different nonprofit organizations. So let's talk about this Instagram Live coming up on uh, Tuesday the 12th, right? Tell us, what is he doing? Yes, so um, he, as you said, he's been involved with community organizations like Grow NYC for years, and he loves to give back. So one of the other ways he's doing so, in addition to the curated recipes that he developed, is he's hosting a live Instagram cooking class on Tuesday. Um, for anyone to join, you can go to his Instagram at Chef David Stample, and he'll be doing an Instagram live where he's going to walk through the recipes as well as gives tips and tricks to everyone, um, and talk through you know why cooking is important to him and how it helps him serve his community, which is really exciting and should be a lot of fun. And and just you know some. People People uh, might may be intimidated. Here's this famous chef. You know, they may not know all of the things that he has done, um, or they're a little. I don't know. I can't really cook. But gosh, obviously, my family is in need. Uh, how do you say to them, yes, please come to this? Why is this important? Why will they benefit? So I think one of the ways the benefit is that Chef David Stample is really great about breaking it down, making it easy. Like he knows not everyone's a trained chef. And so he really works hard to create recipes and walk through things that are accessible to anyone, mm -hmm. um, which I think is really exciting for people who may be intimidated from cooking or trying something new like that. And also um, as a way to encourage people to attend and take part, we at Love Tito's have also committed to donating $10 per attendee up to $5,000 to Grow NYC to continue and further 
further our support of their community gardens and their fresh food box programming. Lindsay Bates, thank you so much. That's just so many things, so many people will benefit. Program manager for Love Tito's, we really appreciate that. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much.